Hey, I'm Philippe Duchateau, Chief Test Pilot for Dassault Aviation and Tenex Project Pilot. Hi, I'm Sébastien Dupont de Dinchin, Lead Project Pilot for Falcon Tenex. Welcome into this virtual cockpit. And let's take a tour on the new feature we propose to you on this fantastic jet. Our objective is to drastically reduce workload while still being able to adapt to the challenges of future air traffic control. Fully proven, on the Rafale fighter jet, a smart throttle will control both engines with a single throttle lever. It will vastly simplify thrust management, including during noise abatement or reduced thrust takeoff modes, and even in the unlikely occurrence of an engine failure. Dual head-up display, including Falcon Eye award-winning CVS system, will be proposed as a primary mean for controlling the aircraft. The digital flight control system will offer new features like a fully automatic recovery mode, which, by just pressing a button, will bring the aircraft back to straight and level flight from any position. Interaction surfaces are vastly increased with four extra displays and new access modalities like multi-touch on all displays. This aircraft is due to fly for many years and regulation may change. The level of automation will allow us to have one pilot flying the aircraft while the other one is resting in the cockpit. The size of the cockpit has been designed to receive a full flat seat that will offer better rest opportunities. Having pilots alternatively resting during low workload phases like cruise means better cognition and alertness during denser phases like approach and landing and therefore allow us to reach an unprecedented level of flight safety. Short fields, tremendous range, adverse weather. All of those safer than ever and with an even better flying experience. And what about the engines on the 10X? Dassault, for the first time, has selected Rolls-Royce to power one of its business jets. It's a natural choice. After all, Rolls-Royce is an iconic company with a reputation for peerless excellence, just like Dassault. It is a match made for the heavens. Rolls-Royce builds the legendary Trent engines, which hang on the wings of several Boeing and Airbus airliners. The company has long hoped to partner with Dassault on a Falcon. For a long time, we have sought to power one of their business jet products. We're really, all at Rolls-Royce, I think, very proud of being selected by Dassault for their, their flagship product. Rolls-Royce is a pioneer and a dominant player in the category, powering 3,600 business aircraft for more than 37 million hours so far. For the Falcon 10X, Dassault challenged the iconic engine maker to make a big biz jet even better. Basically what an engine supplier these days is do is he invests most of his money into a higher efficiency, a lower noise, and obviously reduced emissions. That's always the case. So, you know, that's, that's what we picked for a living and we love it. And that's what we did on this engine family as well. Rolls-Royce developed its Pearl family of engines at its state-of-the-art facility in Berlin. It begins with the Advance 2 core demonstrator. And then that becomes the heart of a family of Pearl engines. Then somebody like Dassault comes along with a specific specification and we say, yes, that core can deal with that specification. The Advance 2 contains several blisks, or bladed discs. Forged from a single piece of titanium or friction welded, they are much lighter and cause less drag. It also uses materials and coatings that weren't available 10 or 20 years ago. 
and many turban blades are derived from a single crystal, meaning there are no grain boundaries. All of this makes the blades more heat resistant and able to produce more thrust. We truly believe we have the most efficient core across the business aviation sector. And if you wrap this with the high performance, low pressure system, you can just derive an engine which is uh, superior of 18,000 pounds of thrust, which is what Dassault is asking for and which is needed for such a superb combination of a great new aircraft and our engine. The combustor is 3D printed to save weight and reduce emissions, and the advanced composite nacelle is thinner than ever. The Pearl 10X will offer a 5% improvement in efficiency compared to its predecessors. Oh, it's a massive deal in our world, and of course, it sits alongside the improvements that the aircraft manufacturers like Dassault are making in terms of aerodynamic performance. So the actual performance of the aircraft combination of Dassault technology and expertise and Rolls-Royce technology and expertise creates a great step function improvement in performance for the end customer. And it's designed to run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel. It's already had a thousand cycles of testing over more than 500 hours on stands. And it will be mounted to a modified 747 for in-flight testing. Rolls-Royce says it will have no problem delivering the finished product on time. Yes, absolutely. We are convinced we will nail the milestone in this program. And I believe we convinced us so this package is just the right one because we have been so mature from the get-go. In the end, the purchase of a Falcon is not so much an acquisition as it is an acceptance into a family. The Falcon family takes care of each other all over the world. And one of the most important places they meet is Little Rock, Arkansas. After a Falcon jet leaves the nest in Marignac, it flies straight here to Little Rock, Arkansas. This is where the green planes are fit and finished inside and out. Paul Florek gave me a walking tour. He is the senior VP of sales for the US and Canada. This is the newest facility here, right? It is, it's the newest completion facility here in Little Rock. This hangar is now filled with Falcon models 7X and 8X, soon the 6X, and eventually the 10X. Usually, before the aircraft even gets here, the cabinetry is being made in various shops around the facility. Very high-tech shops. Their craftsmen have been here for years and years. There's a lot of handcrafted work mixed with high technology that goes into completing Falcon aircrafts. There are aircraft here destined for Asia, the Middle East, Europe, and the Americas. It's really a company of the planet, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, there are Falcons in 90 different countries. We have factories and support just about everywhere a Falcon can go. The corporation has customers globally. Falcons are a global machine. And uh, it's a really unique balance, a really interesting balance of different cultures. And at the end of the day, the product is uh, the result of all the best of all of that. talk to a lot of customers and potential customers. I have. Is there a huge demand out there for the 10X? Yes, we, we absolutely believe there is. The response has been overwhelmingly positive so far and we're pressing on.